Good morning, Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament family, Northwest Bass Holes Crossing Lines Fishing. I'm hooked, get hooked, two fresh fishing, uh, angling addicts of the Pacific Northwest, Operation Tackle Box, and Washington Bass Fishing Fanatics. Uh, you may have heard that I said angling addicts of the Pacific Northwest, and the reason is because I had some product that came in from Nicholas Roberts of... Uh, Angling Addicts of the Pacific Northwest, a friend of mine that I served with, lives here in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, he makes his own uh, baits, and um, I've used them, I like them, and uh, Nick has a lot of wonderful videos out there on YouTube that he uh, puts up, you know, a catch and cook, um, and he's just wandering all over the place, you know, if there's a body of water, he's out there fishing it, and how he has time to... Uh, make his baits on top of that uh, is a mystery to me but he is a man of many talents and he just gets it done so if you ever have the time take a chance uh, take a gander at what he is doing on uh, Facebook and uh, check out his page it's really really good a lot of great anglers on there and a lot of outstanding fish caught so let's start with that first uh, the product that came in today comes to us from angling addicts of the Pacific Northwest Nicholas Roberts. This is a uh, 3 8 ounce torpedo spinner and this one is the cotton candy and white. Uh, I haven't used this particular one but I do not see any reason why this particular spinner bait wouldn't work. Um, it has been used extensively on the Oregon coast and it has been instrumental in helping Nick hook up on lingcod and black bass and I have used um, the squid type torpedo spinner this one here and have hooked up bass with it uh, these have gone out in prize boxes past and I haven't got any feedback from anglers you know around the United States whether or not they have hooked up with this particular one but try it and uh, see if you can't manage to uh, hook up a bass with it it is a multi-species lure um, it has been dev devastating out here on the north in the northwest to uh, salmon and steelhead so let's take a look at another one <clears throat> we have it in the chartreuse Beautiful. Look at that. Torpedo spinner. Another 3 8 ounce. And these are all handmade by uh, Nicholas Roberts. He does an outstanding job. So if you're interested in some of these, you can find him on YouTube and Facebook at Angling Addicts of the Pacific Northwest. And uh, he's got a website too, and you can get some of these for yourself. Really like this one. All right. Thank you so much, Nick. Now, one of the added surprises that came uh, in the package to me for uh, the products that Nick sent me is that he has come to the end of the line with uh, a t-shirt design that he had come up with and he had six left granted there was only two small and four medium but he sent them to me and he says you can give them away uh, or put them in the prize boxes or something and I came up with the idea that uh, you know let's take a look at the t-shirt Granted, it might not fit everybody out there, but, you know, it's a really nicely done t-shirt. And what I'm going to do with it is on the first day of the tournament, uh, March 20th, the uh, six heaviest weights that come in that day for bass will receive t-shirt. Granted, there are only two small and four medium, but if it doesn't fit you, you can give it to your wife or your children or whoever. But just a kind of extra nice little... Uh, surprise or something to go out to everybody out there okay thank you so much nicholas roberts for all these outstanding products that you have sent to us i am so proud and happy to have these and be putting them into the prize boxes and have uh angling addicts of the pacific northwest uh represented within the uh prize boxes so um a lot of these we have seen before but let's now get into what uh, is going into the third place prize box. I'd like to start with this little lipless crankbait done up by none other than Jeff Meeks of Drunken Lures. Outstanding piece. Beautiful. We've got from Bo Merkel, and we've seen these before, the Ugly Bug. And we've got two that are going into the first place prize boxes. Bo Merkel of 
Samsung's Lures. Check him and Lily out. They uh, do um, video, live video uh, spray sessions. And uh, it's just a good time, you know, out there in the shop and the banter going back and forth. It's just, it's something that you should really check out. And check out Bo's Baits. I mean, he, you know, throughout the prize boxes, he's well represented. Then we have from Only Five Customs, David Wyatt. Look at this square bill crankbait. Done up in uh, almost like a perch pattern. Gorgeous. Then we have a craw pattern, also from David Wyatt of Only Five Customs. On a wiggle wart. Look at that. Beautiful. Clear coat on it. Absolutely flawless. Oh, I missed one. Uh, from Bo Merkel here. I've talked about this particular bait here. Um, if, if you win the prize box, make sure you glue down the, uh, the tail on these things uh, with some super glue or something. But I've had great success with this one. Um, the bass just won't leave it alone. Wonderful. From Lou Roberto, we have the Angry Perch Popper. Outstanding bait. Love Lou's lures. They do catch fish. You can find Lou at Get Hooked and uh, Lou's Lures on Facebook. Outstanding human being, great customer service. Check him out. <clears throat> this one is simple. It's another popper, uh, but I asked him to do it up in pearl white with ruby red eyes. And uh, he just knocked this one out of the park. A friend of mine a couple of years ago was fishing with something very similar. And uh, it was early in the season and uh, I figured it was too early to be inducing topwater bites. And uh, he was using uh, a pearl white popper, kind of like that design. And he just kept getting hammered over and over and over. And eventually the bass actually knocked the hooks off the thing. And I was like, wow, I've got to have some of those. So who do I call? I called Lou. All right. So from Davies Custom Lures. Davy Starkweather has done up this wonderful swim jig for us in the craw pattern color. And it's not just, uh, you know, the plastic fringe in there. We have got some, uh, some hair of some sort in there. Just wonderfully done. Absolutely love it. Another one from Davy's Custom Lures is this pattern right here. And this is a new one uh, that, David, that Davy has gotten to me. Beautiful. And it's, uh, it's kind of a real subtle uh, perch pattern. It could also go as a craw pattern in a way if you look at it. But, you know, really excited about that one. Now, we've seen this one before, and this one, when I saw this, I had to have it. And uh, we've got this deep build crankbait done up in the frog pattern. And let me tell you, Davey has just knocked this one right out of the park. I mean, I, I would, you know, you take this thing out of the package, you, the realism in the paint job on this thing is just outstanding. And Davey can be found on Facebook, and he's just got wonderful customer service. All right, next, let's get into Yagi's Custom Lures. And we have this spinner bait here that he has done up. And it is the 3 8 ounce, and it's done up in the crappie pattern. Now, this thing is going to slay. Absolutely slay. And we also have from uh, Travis Yagi, we have this uh, bluegill pattern spinner bait. And he was using this one a couple years ago when I fished with him. And he was just devastating with it. So, um, next proprietor that has gotten us uh, product to go into the prize boxes. This one comes to us from Nicholas Chen of CCL Lures. You can find him online. He's got a Big inventory and big lineup of various different types of baits. And this is a six inch tadpole. I know you're thinking, it's like, oh my god, what am I going to catch with this? Bass. Yeah, big bass. Look at that. Outstanding. And then we have this wake bait, vinyl wrap in a bluegill pattern, also from CCL Lures of Nicholas Chen. Outstanding cur uh, customer service and you know, check him out. Now granted, this one doesn't have any hooks on it, but it is a vinyl wrap, and it is a swim bait, so you 
be able to customize whatever hooks that you would like to put on this thing. Beautifully done. Thank you so much, Nicholas, for uh, your products. I'm so proud to be putting them into the prize boxes. And remember, people, the tournament is now 16, uh, no, it's less than that. It's 14 days away. 14 days away. Two weeks. Two weeks on March 20th. It's a Saturday. We best be fishing. Okay, um, had some product drop off the table here. Excuse me. All right, let's start with some of the plastics that we have got from Hebrew Texas Fishing Lures, and this is a 1.25 inch cricket, outstanding crappie bait, and uh, they come from, to us from Yaakov Levi of Hebrew Texas Fishing Lures, and you can find him online. Now, one of the baits that I really, really love is the six inch Texas Fatty Wiggler. It is a extremely durable worm and this one is done up in the bass hole color. It's an eight count within the bag. And uh, I, just, I just keep going back to uh, this particular bait. It works, bass won't leave it alone. One of my favorite colors within the six inch fat, uh, Texas Fatty Wiggler series is the kryptonite color. And Yakov does custom colors. If you can't find something out there that you are looking for, a com color combination that you think is going to work for you, get in touch with Yakov. He'll be more than happy to hook you up with what you're looking for. All right, we have the seven inch Texas Salamander. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, it's in the bass hole color. I've thrown these, they work and they work extremely well. Um, it was really interesting to be throwing those in a really really clear pond and working these back across the bottom and just see you know a, a whole school of bass just chasing this thing across the bottom wonderful all right two fresh fishing no prize box would be complete and let you know without two fresh fishing products in it terrence downing out of port st lucie florida we have the ned pool series yeah Put this little beauty up on a Ned rig and see what is going to happen. We have a 10 count within here, and the color is Firecraw in uh, with a black tip. And Terrence recommends a 1 8 jig, uh, Ned rig jig, to uh, set this thing up and uh, get it down to where you need to. We've seen these before. Yes, the Hell Hitter. I swear by these. It's 3 inch. It's uh, in Golden Flake. Uh, kind of a bronze color. I use these extensively. When the bite turns off, I turn to the hell hitter and it never fails to deliver. We have the Carolina Crawler in, I believe it's pumpkin? Uh, doesn't say. Quantity of 12 and it's a D finesse worm and I've used these down in Florida when I was fishing with Terrence and uh, they work. An outstanding durable bait. One of the local people that we have, or local companies, I should say, that we have, is Big Sexy Baits. And this is out of Woodland, Washington, up here in my neck of the woods. And we have the Banshee. Uh, I've used these, you know, they're awesome baits. Drop them into uh, whatever bass fishing hole that you happen to be at and just watch the excitement start. Then we have a commercial product here and one that I have initially started fishing with was from Creme. And we have here uh, the five inch jerk bait in smoked shad. So where are we at? Okay, another commercial product that we have is the Arky Salty uh, Crawl and Grub Jig. When I first started out fishing, it's one of the go-to baits that I was using quite a bit and I like them and I wanted to bring it and share it with you see what you think about it okay here we have a uh, top water bait that comes to us from Little Creek flies from Jennifer Lambright and she ties her own flies and she does some um, outstanding work and I have hooked up with this one working it past the weed beds we also have from Jennifer Lambright we have this butterfly and then I wanted to answer a question for everybody out there. People have asked, what is this and what is it doing in, uh, you know, the prize box? Uh, it's kind of a, a, a little extra that was given to us by Yaakov Levy. 
Um, it is a dreidel, and um, it is a toy and a teaching tool that was used by uh, the ancient Hebrews in Jerusalem during the Roman occupation. And uh, but you know, it's kind of a makes a nice top too. Or you could possibly rig it as a float. You know, it's up to you. But it's just a, a neat little addition. So for those of you that was like, what is this? It's a dreidel. All right. And then we have this beautiful fly. And it's a big one from Jennifer Lambright. Had her to design these bigger so that, uh, you know, it'd be more advantageous for hooking up bass and doing some... Uh, Top water fly fishing for a bass. And she's also got us the dragonfly. During the uh, dragonfly hatch, when it's out there, get this thing moving across the top of the water behind a fly bobber. Oh, yeah, it works, I know. And then from Jeff Meeks, we have this little wake bait here in the frog. And the uh, spring peepers are going to be out on the ponds before too long. This is going to be devastating. Devastating. All right. We also have bullet weights that are going into it. We have spear point hooks. I have used them. I like them. They're the new kids on the block. So, here we go. We have eagle claw hooks also, wide gap. And we have some trapper tackle hooks also well people that is what a third place prize box looks like i'm happy to bring it to you and again i would like to give a shout out to uh, nicholas roberts and thank him for everything that he has done to us or for us <laughs> done to us makes it sound nefarious doesn't it but it's not outstanding products let's take a look at them one more time these torpedo spinner baits right here Look at those. And I got enough that uh, these torpedo spinner baits, one, at least one, sometimes two, will all be going into the prize boxes. Look at these. From Angling Addicts of the Pacific Northwest. Thank you, Nicholas. I really appreciate this. You know, it just, you're a gentleman and a scholar and a heck of an angler. And you know, I follow you constantly and you make me jealous because you are constantly hooking it up and showing us all how it's done. Anyway, here we go. And we get the squiddy torpedo. And they work, people. They work. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you all have a blessed day. Take somebody fishing with you. Make a memory. And remember, uh, we are only 14 days away. That is two weeks two weeks from the start of the tournament, then we are off and running. Familiar, uh, familiarize yourself with the rules. Go in uh, to the uh, page, uh, the website, and get your account set up So, because we're going to be running all the video submissions through the page uh, for tabulation and scoring. So, And if there's any questions, get in contact with myself or um, uh, Terrence Downing of Two Fresh Fishing. And we'll be happy to help you out in any way that we can. And I'd also like to say thank you to all of our proprietors out there, Lou Roberto, Jen Cravasi, uh, Nicholas Roberts, Jeff Meeks, uh, Davy Starkweather, Bo Merkel, uh, David Wyatt. Uh, and if I'm forgetting somebody, it's not intentional. It's not intentional. There are just so many great proprietors out there that have showcase their their work within these prize boxes so as always people it doesn't matter where you are at everybody is northwest of somewhere and i will see you again in two weeks out on the water bye bye for now